Hi, I'm Becky, and I'm a pathology and field technician working for the DRAS team at ZSL. And I'm Sophie, I'm a wildlife vet working in the DRAS team, and we're here today on the River Tamar in Devon to undertake some health screening of free living beavers, which is part of a project we've been part of for the last few months. Beavers are a really interesting species because they have a number of unique adaptations that make them distinctive. Beavers are skilled ecosystem engineers and can create new habitats and improve water quality. Beaver teeth are one of the strongest natural substances and they're a reinforcement iron to help them cut down trees. We are working with the Beaver Trust and Natural England as well as multiple different organisations to better understand the health and genetic status of these free living animals. When a beaver is trapped by the expert team at the Beaver Trust, we can step in and undertake health examinations. The traps are set overnight because beavers are primarily nocturnal. Our collaborators at the Beaver Trust monitor the traps remotely throughout each night using sensors and camera traps. By the early morning, it's clear whether or not a beaver has been trapped, and so at around 5am we receive the message to gather our things and head out into the field. When we arrive at the trap site, the team at the Beaver Trust carefully take the beaver out of the trap and manually restrain it so that it can be safely examined. At this point, we can step in and begin our hands-on veterinary examinations. We gauge a picture of the individual animal's health through a number of steps, like listening to the heart and lungs and looking at the general condition of the beaver. For example, whether it has good fat stores, looking at the condition of the skin and fur, and checking whether it has any wounds or other lesions. We can also gauge a great deal from the behaviour and movement of the beaver while it's in a trap and its behaviour during restraint. We also take a blood sample from the beaver's tail, which provides valuable information on the health of the beaver through looking at white blood cells and indicators of organ function. It can also be used to screen for a number of pathogens and diseases of interest. Other samples like fur are also collected, as well as any parasites that are found on the beaver. Finally, a microchip is placed so that the beaver can be identified in the future if it's found dead or if it comes back to the same trap, which has been happening a few times. Some of the challenges of this field work have been battling through the elements like the rain, wind, flooding and early morning darkness with all of our kit. But it's all been worth it and many of these locations are beautiful, particularly when we catch the sunrise. Thank you for supporting ZSL and helping us secure a future for our wildlife like these beavers.